Well, let's get a check on our local forecast. We have a yellow alert here tomorrow. Yeah, but we're not looking at anything like what they have there in Texas. I mean, they've had heat indexes there of like 120 degrees. That big heat generates a big lift, and you get monstrous storms. What we have right here is a picture in New York City that's still dry. The rain is south of the area. The temperature is 66 degrees as of right now. And this was your first day of summer. Didn't feel like necessarily the first day of summer. It was 73 in New York City. Eight degrees cooler than the 81, which is what we should get up to, but it was the 60s and 70s for everybody outside today. And in terms of the shoreline, especially around the Jersey Shore, boy, that was where it really felt the rawest because you've been cool, you've had that sea breeze, and you've had this sort of like layer of light rain on top of you for a good chunk of the day. And it's been 63 or 62 degrees in brick for about the last five hours with those light showers out there. All right, what's going to be happening as we look at the big picture? We're going to watch this heavier activity move in. And it's the timing that is so poor. It moves in when, you know, so many of you folks are making your drive to work. So a lot of folks on the roadways, rush hour packed, and now you put some heavy downpours out there, which could create ponding, slow some traffic down. Look, traffic moves slow when there's some heavy rain out there regardless. And now you're talking about a situation looking like this at 6.30 in the morning, right smack dab as a, as a big drive is underway. And the heaviest activity is east of New York City. But you're going to get some break, breakaways that are still strong off to the west as well. But that's where we see the heaviest activity. This is 6.30. Here's your picture at 11 a.m., clearly off to the east of New York City, but still holding on to some strong bouts out there. And then as you push to lunchtime in the early afternoon, you're going to find it very spotty. I mean, there's still a rain chance, but it's not that much. This is 8 p.m. at night. Then you go into your Friday. Friday, kind of a repeat performance. In the morning, you've got some good bouts of rain coming through the area. And as you go through Friday, you're going to see them pop up and pop off, pop up and pop off. Look at this picture, 6 a, 6 p.m. Friday night, we've got them strong off to the west of New York City. I want you to remember this, okay? Remember this picture right here, because when I show you rain totals, it's going to make some sense. That's 6 p.m. on Friday going into Saturday. Well, here we are Saturday morning. You are still looking at a rain chance out there. In terms of the amount of rain that we're talking, Thursday gives us, the farther north you go, the less rain you pick up. Maybe, you know, a quarter to half an inch. New York City showing 0.8. Jersey Shore, about three quarters of an inch. Out around the east side, out around the east end of Long Island, anywhere from two inches in Brentwood out to 1.1 for Montauk. And then you get more rain on Friday. Remember, I showed you this area inland in New Jersey that gets some big rain as well, maybe 3.1 inches with more coming for the weekend. Now, watch this. There's going to be breaks. All right, here's a break for Saturday, but the break it then fills in with some rain. Then another break, then it fills in with rain. Then a break fills in with rain. That's through the entire weekend, gang, all the way through Tuesday of next week. So we are. 68 tomorrow for a high temperature with a yellow alert for that morning commute. Just, you know, just know that you got to leave a little earlier tomorrow because there could be some delays. Friday, you're 79 with that rain chance again. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, the humidity goes up, and that's why we're showing the chance for a thunderstorm out there. And we've also got that rain chance. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even as I showed you, into Tuesday as well. That's my seven day forecast, guys. Chance for rain basically every day. On and off, on and off. Thanks, Lonnie. Okay.